Okay, so this is gonna look similar to what we've done before. However, this is not what we did before. It's just a different way of doing it. And it's a very important different way of doing uh, photo editing because it is something that can be adjusted uh, better on. So I'm gonna just add in the photos that we had before. We had our, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. I had, to, <laughs> that's a tool we're gonna use today, my bad. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the move tool so I can just move things around. Uh, so I'm just making this larger. This is just like inserting the pictures like we did for the last assignments. And then the dinosaurs, I'll add in and we'll add it to the current. So they're right there. So the tool that we're going to use now or the, the step we're going to do now is going to create what's called a mask. And a mask is a method of hiding and revealing the image without deleting the information. When you do uh, anything with the eraser, it's actually getting rid of the information entirely. So if you came back in 10 minutes or refresh the page, all of that stuff would be gone. Um, but if I go layer and then down to add mask, it's gonna hide everything. However, it does have, and here's a tool for it, by the way. Um, we have the ability to draw the mask here. Now, if I draw it with green, it's gonna bring back some stuff. So if I want this dinosaur back here and there's possibly a better way to do this, but uh, I'm not as good in Pixlr as I am in Photoshop. So I can bring back all of what was erased or all of what was hidden. And then if I hold down shift, I'm holding down shift, it's changing that highlight to red. And you can see it up here, shift, uh, no shift, shift, no shift, shift. Um, but it'll let me hide and if I cut too far, Rather than undoing, I could just bring back that section. So I can zoom in and basically do what I did with the eraser, but I can use the brush tool, so or use the uh, masking tool. So again, I can change the size, I can change the softness uh, to basically make what I was doing with the brush before, or sorry, the eraser before, do with this brush. So what I'm going to have you do is cut it out, clean it, you know, well. And I actually want you, so it's gotta be, you know, get rid of all the background, but I want you to screenshot this whole page because what I should see is I should see the dino layer with that little scissors thing there. That means there's a mask, has a mask. Um, and masks are gonna be super useful down the road to do more complicated photo compositing. It just lets us blend things better. Uh, also, it lets us undo mistakes you know, in a later session rather than just having to start over. So try out the layer masks. Um, try to follow along to get to this point, and then you're just going to clean out the rest of that and turn that in. So see if you can do that, and then uh, we'll move on from there.